we have been for me mamu ni amajo and then so asema beto epunosu ni se eya a doctors for more comfort and not che teaching hospital so mwa ko strike no so mwa strike omo se abaye no inti omo ko strike abaye no emo mo bebi na eya a doctor for so mwenye bebi na bebi omo ti ye tu omo mwenye abaye na ka abaye nye nanyo so pebe omo mwa dade ya eni omo ko strike Obi be who among fan home. Obi I near the van doctor knew I'll be on people among fan uncle. Eh, Nagana pa, ya kwa and I say by. There be a year three sixty seven years. We are going to quit here and say, said a doctor for no editor. Medical doctors at the Confanochi Teaching Hospital say they are embarking on an indefinite strike over what leadership describe as harassment and persistent orders to move out of their Denyami residence in Kumasi. The doctors on Tuesday concluded on the industrial action to demand the installation of their bungalows despite claims that it has been sold out. Dr. Michael Leet is the president of the Cath Doctors Association. He explains the frustration of the affected doctors. Some doctors in um, the Denyami residence are supposed to be evicted. I mean, this has been ongoing for about a year now. And as an association, we suggested some measures to management uh, but we see this to be beyond our hospital management in that i mean they are not the owners of the land per se so um some of our doctors have been um given an eviction within uh, to they've been given notices to evict their accommodation units um within a week some have had their water supply cut off some have been walled in. According to him, the doctors at the hospital will lay down their tools to seek access to their accommodation. We have close to about 30 some, 20 something doctors plus other staff of um, the confinement and other doctors from other hospitals. So we thought it wise that if you are being evicted, then we meet and decide as a group what is the next step. And what came out, the unanimous decision was to lay down our tools tomorrow by 6 a.m. and then go and look for accommodation. Meanwhile, the Ashanti Regional Minister Simon Osei Mensa says the allegation of ejection are untrue. He wants the affected doctors to provide evidence to support their claims. If I hear somebody saying that we've given him one week to vacate his bungalow or something, they should produce the letter so that we know the author of that letter. Whoever wrote that letter to them, we want to know. And also we've had agreement with the contractors that before they move anybody, they have to rent a, a place for the person for a period of two years, by which time we will be sure we will be done with all the structures we are putting up. And they should produce a letter that is giving them an ultimatum of one week. They should provide that letter to you. And we've said that no developer should move anybody without a rented alternative accommodation. The minister indicated that the government is constructing bungalows to accommodate several doctors within the region. Originally we decided to build 200, now we've reduced it to 180 because we are, we are sure that the 180 will be enough for all those that we are going to relocate. And this location is one site, that is one contractor's site. And here we have more than 30 structures. As you can, as you can see, most of them are above 80% complete. Only few will be around maybe 75. For Joe News, Nana Bwachetankwe Yadom, Kumasi.